hello welcome back uh, in today's video um, we're just going to look at three uh, three tasks or uh, we are going to focus on three things we want to cover so in our previous video we worked on a number of issues and at least right now in our e-commerce we are at a good point in our previous video we tried to protect the categories from uh, from the farmers and they are not able to update or to do anything with our categories so in today's video uh, i want to tackle about three things um if time allows so the first one is <coughs> the first challenge we have so far if you go to the product model you notice that in our uh, image upload we are only uploading one single image okay so in actual e-commerce the products always have multiple multiple images so we are going to modify and create a new image component so that actually we are covering multiple image upload okay so that um we are able to have multiple images on our detailed page and um, and if you have not watched the video uh, yesterday uh, i released the video um, about multiple image upload using three different tools while well, we talked about uh, using upload thing edge store and cloudinary so at least right now you should have a good idea if you have not watched that video you can first go and uh, take a look but today we are going to implement uh, multiple image upload uh, using upload thing so i'll work on that and that means we are going to modify and create a new uh, a new image uh, image component instead of having the one that uploads a single file we are going to have the one uploading multiple files okay so that is one uh, task and if we manage to do this task and it is completed we still have two pages uh, the first page is going to be the the market page so if you look at this uh, uh, if you look at this instacart page uh, this for the this is going to be for the market okay we are going to have this uh, this page for the market and then we have the the third task is to create the category page so when you go to the e-commerce and then you tap like on a category i'm um, just going to right click on any of these categories like this so you reset you are going to be taken on this category page okay so we will design this category page uh, we might not implement the filtering today but we have here the uh, the category page okay we have the category page uh, here with all these different filters that is one thing that we are going to do then um, if you check that is the same page uh, for the search so if you come here and you search for maybe electronics or TV let us just say you come and search for electronics or okay so you have these search suggestions but then if you scroll down okay uh, they just say scroll down if you don't click on any of these ones uh, and you go here there is see see all such results i'm not sure if you are going to design uh, this this search box the way it is here okay but then we have this see all results so when you click on that see all results it actually takes you to this search page and if you just notice that the search page is actually exactly the way you see the category page that is an advantage we take advantage of that and we use the same component so if you just look at this exactly is the same as this one the uh, the category page okay so we design this and then we have this so this is a second task so we have about three tasks okay so I'm just going to start with the first one and the most hard one uh, maybe is this one 
of creating this image component okay so if we just go right now to the i'm just going to take uh, this down let me just take this terminal off just like that <clears throat> so you just go to the back office dashboard and let's go under catalog and then products and then inside the new page so in here we can actually go to the products okay we can just go to the products form and then from there we can start from there so i'm just going to go to this uh, click and go to this new product form okay okay so now we have a number of things here and one of them we can see we are actually tracking the images at uh, the image uh here uh so i'm just going to go and um, i'm just going to go and um so and if you just look down here we have where well, we have image input okay so first of all i'm just going to go to the components uh duplicate this component and create another one called multiple image input okay so i'm just going to go here uh inside i don't know where these ones are located i could just say control click okay so we have from inputs here i'm just going to simply copy this and paste it to actually copy and then in this very one paste okay so i will i will have here image input copy and let's just change this one f2 i'm changing it to multiple image input multiple image input okay so we have this multiple image input uh, enter and then let's change this one to also multiple image input okay so now we have to import this one instead of the other one so just copy this and let's go first close all some of these things here close this one so that we have a few things we are looking at just close uh, close all these ones okay so we have now two pages to focus on new product so down here i'm just going to um remove this image input and put multiple image input so multiple 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 image input just like that okay so that shouldn't change anything so far on the ui because the right now the multiple image input is same as um is same as the this so the first thing you're just going to change is how we're going to track uh this you can see it has not changed so the first thing i'm just going to do is oh sorry so you have to pass in all the things that we have been passing in in this one okay uh can i first go back a second copy this and then you just want to go back uh, in time okay just change this to multiple image multiple image input okay so we have this and you will make sure that it is imported on top here uh, we have this image input 
where is the multiple image input okay so it is down here so the first thing is actually creating an endpoint for the multiple image input so i'm just going to go to api api and then under upload thing and then core i'm just going to create uh, another endpoint uh, to handle multiple image upload okay so inside here down here i'm just going to simply copy this okay just like that and i'm just going to rename this one to multiple image upload multiple We can you just call it uh, multiple products, multiple products uploader. So we just have this endpoint. First, uh, we have to change some things here. The first thing is the max file size. I'm just going to convert it to eight. So all the images after uploading them, they should come up to a max file size of eight and then inside here simply put a comma okay just put a comma and then put max uh put max file where it is max file count and then we can put four images for now let's uh work on them to be four images so one them and that's the only thing you have to change here in this when you're creating it throughout you simply just use this max file count and then all other things just remain the same okay these other things just remain the same um and also if this one remains as five okay i'm uh, just going to look at that so let me just go back okay let me just uh, go back and by the way if you're just going to look at where that is coming from if you just go to upload thing i'm just going to go here and go to upload thing documentation and i show you if you just go to upload thing documentation So now um, <coughs> I'm just going to click on docs. Okay, and in docs, I'm just going to simply search for uh, the max uh, max file count. You can see here. Okay, so in this example they gave here you can see uh, this where they have this uh, media and they created this media post they have the image max file count four then on upload they have this uh, data and you can see then console.log file data so on upload complete they in here they have actually data so and we can also just have that instead of this like metadata and file because for them they went ahead and they did this okay uh, let's go first we're going to first look at uh to look at this in a second then afterwards we can just do the modifications okay so that's the one thing you can just look up to in the documentation uh, going back to the project right now i want to change this endpoint to use that endpoint so the our endpoint is called multiple product uploader so copy this endpoint and let's go to this uh, 
so far in this form i'm just going to change it to use a new uh, so down here where is the image multiple image okay it is here so this endpoint it is using let's first change this endpoint okay now uh, the fact is right now instead of having image url and set image url we are going to have a number of things okay so this one is going to be taking in image urls okay so let me just go and create a new um, state so i'm just going to have here a new state called const i'm just going to have image urls okay and then here state image or could you say uh, product image product image and then here just let me say it uh, this is product images and then it's going to be set product images product images is equal to use state use state okay and then by default it's going to be an empty array just like that it's going to be an empty array just like that and then we have to pass these ones okay we have to pass these ones okay so we have to create uh, a new key for this one image urls and set image urls okay uh, and you just see here we can change these ones to image urls and then set image urls and then you just see product images here is product images and then here is state product images state product images just like that and then here is product images okay now let's just go to this uh this one and we modify it a little bit the first thing is setting this one and yes we're going to set to an empty array instead <clears throat> and then set image urls this is going to change or so so we have this now how are we going to handle this inside here so this logic has to change okay uh, this image url uh, thing is has to change the button let's first remove this button first of all okay this button has to go away now for the images it will be a group of images okay uh first of all so you can change here at image urls if image urls dot length is greater than zero okay and then if it's greater than zero then we can just go ahead and show a number of images <coughs> so i'm just going to cut this <coughs> So I'm just going to have flex here uh, dot flex wrap uh, and then inside here I'm just going to have these images and they have to be many images we have to do a map so after doing this if the images that length is greater than zero and and so we have to do a map okay just going to go ahead and do a map inside here so i can just go ahead and do this wrapping and then inside this wrapping i'm just going to simply have uh, this and then you can just say image urls because these are uh, multiple images and then you can just say map through these images 
And then we have uh, we have a single image URL image URL then comma index then we're just going to have this then here return and then we can return the single image just like that <coughs> okay uh, so for each of these images uh, we had given them for width uh, I think we can even use a uh, grid let me just use grid so I can just say grid grid call uh, let's say grid and then you can say grid calls okay we can just say on the small screen maybe we have only one and then on the small screens maybe on the medium screens we have grid calls two then on the large screens so md uh, grid calls three and then finally on the large screens let's say grid calls four so they go there for images just like that okay so now for each image so here for each image we have a button so here i'm just going to have a button i'm just going to have a little bit like a div and then in this div uh, i will have the button with a with uh, an icon which is going to be plus no it's going to be i think it's x circle just like that and then down here just going to have this image so this uh, button is going to be for removing this image just in case a user doesn't want to uh, that image he can remove the image okay and then uh, for the upload zone uh, it has to remain the end point is the same now what changes is actually on to this okay the logic that we have here uh, this so first of all let's just go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and understand this so i'm just going to go ahead and simply console.log the response okay uh, simply console.log the response okay you can consider the log response as simple as that now to be able to see what is going on is we have to go ahead and then um, and test out this okay i'm just going to go and test out this uh, of course here we need a key which is going to be the index okay so i'm just going to go back to the new upload form and i'm just going to first disable the this endpoint okay uh where is this endpoint okay so we have <clears throat> if id so we just on this one i'm just going to simply uh, disable this i'm just going to disable this endpoint here okay the only thing we're just going to keep track of is going to be console.log uh, actually just put it on top here where i'm just going to be product images 
So you say console.log product images for now. We want to keep track of them. So if you just go back on the UI, we should have now you can see your product images. Now let's this endpoint load and we see how it looks like. I'm just going to manually refresh and see. I just manually refresh and see. Okay, so it is now okay. And you can see now choose files and it's saying max 4. Okay, that's great. So I'm just going to go and press F12 to go to the, uh, to the console here. I'm just going to drag this more so that it goes in this. Uh, y, y, A. Okay, so now it is okay. So let's go ahead and click on upload images. And the, this time, just going to select uh, multiple uh, multiple images, and we try those ones. <coughs> okay, so I'm just going to go in the downloads, and let's select these two images. I'm just going to click on upload, and you can see upload two images. So click here. So what we want to track uh, about is actually the is to look at the response. Okay. Is to look at the response. Okay, so if you just look at this, look at this, we have right now the response is an array. So you can see, look at this. I have uh, an array of two items. Okay, I have an array of two items, and the, if you just check inside, each item has a URL, just like this. So the first thing you're just going to do to the response is map through this response and get out the URLs. Okay, so that is a very uh, easy thing right now. And I'm just going to go to this multiple image. So the first thing I'm just going to do is going to this response. So I see my response is right now an array containing two items. So I'm just going to say, okay, so const uh, <coughs> URLs is equal to uh, response uh, dot map. So you're mapping this array. And then I have access to single item with its index. And then inside here, what I just simply want to do is I want to return item dot URL. Okay, as simple as that. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to set this. So set image URLs to URLs. Okay, as simple as that. So <coughs> can leave out this index. So what I just want is here. <coughs> so, excuse me. So you are trying to actually uh, manipulate or try to uh, phrase and get only the URLs out of this data. If you wanted even more data, you would abstract it and get it from this. But for now, just get only these ones. Okay. So after getting this, you see we are setting image URLs to this one, which should now update. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Of course, you can see on the new product on line fifty-five, we are tracking the, uh, we are tracking for the, <coughs> we are tracking for these uh, product images. So let me just go ahead and, and we could also console.log URLs. So here, let's first console.log also the URLs. Okay, and let's it to refresh. Okay, and let me just go ahead and click on this. Click uh, here. 
uh, select two images one more time click uh, then upload okay and uh, you can see we have two items in the array okay uh, and you can see now we have the two items on the screen okay we have two items on the screen and you can see this has updated also in the new product okay you can see this comes from the new product after uploading if you scroll up here i believe also in the multiple image we have these two and then they are updated and then after updating you can see they are showing in this one <clears throat> so here let's just go up here and let's work on them first of all let's provide a gap and then also design these remove the remove button they have to come nearby this image at the at the corner so what i'm just going to do is also one thing i'm just going to copy this array before it disappears and we use it for designing purposes so let me just go here look at this array uh, where can i find this array e very nicely I just need this array nicely so I want to copy it uh, how can I copy this array uh, let me just find at least one of the items okay Control C. Uh, let me just take it here in uh, in this here as the initial input. Let me copy the second one. And just like this. Okay, so you have the two images so that we can actually just have them as the initial input okay that's great so now we can just go ahead and start designing how it should look like okay and then here i'm just going to go ahead and then uh, let me just go ahead and and uh, start designing this so the first thing is that to this button i'm just going to give it a class okay we want it to be position absolute okay so i'm just going to give it absolute and then of course this div has to be position relative okay first of all uh, let's also give a gap so to this let's give a gap of about maybe three or four let me see three is I just give it four to one rim and then here i'm just going to go ahead and uh, give it some sort of positioning here so for the top let's try top zero and write zero and we see where is it going to be located that button okay so this is the uh, modification is here now to understand very well i'm just going to go ahead and give this div a bg of red maybe 500 to see exactly what is going on okay okay so the for the images they are not occupying the whole entire height are they using the width we gave it it is still having width full height 64 okay 
and object feet contain let's see if you say object feet cover what happens um, okay uh, uh, we could try actually the cover is okay because like this remove button is uh really let me just go ahead maybe uh i change this height to a half maybe we try something like 32 and let's see now okay yep so now uh, this is a little bit uh, more nice so what I'm just going to do is uh, first of all to these buttons maybe we give them a background do we really need to give them a background they just because we want them to be more visible I'm just going to go ahead and give them some design a little bit so I'm just going to give it a BG of white okay and the text of black maybe text of slate 900 okay and then let's just make sure it is rounded full so i'm just going to give it rounded full uh, let's see how it looks like right now okay and then how about having uh, some padding maybe of four now i would give it width and height when you give it padding these uh, uh, that is too much padding maybe of one mm, we need to give them padding uh, how do they look right now I'm just going to push them if I just like push them a little bit off uh, if I say top to where does it go up or down okay it goes down how about top minus two uh, let's see So it goes in the same position. Let's try to obtain so that we see if this makes any impact. Yep, it doesn't. Okay, just stick to zero. Can you stick to top zero? Okay. Wow, it had go. It I think had moved. Let's just try. Maybe four negative. Let's just see if it actually moves somewhere. Yep. So it actually moves. And then also this right i'm just going to give it a bit of negative maybe two just to move uh, to move a little bit uh yep so at that point i i really like it at that spot then the only thing is that maybe they are looking a little bit they just give this BG slate maybe a hundred uh, 
okay and then do i need to give this padding let's move the padding and see how it looks like because yeah i think that is the the best we can have the remove icon just in that way and we could give this one a color i say if we just give it extrude text red 500 and let's remove this bg red okay so mm, does it can just leave it the way it was let me remove the text red here okay that one looks fine so you just work on the functionality for the remove so basically this button is going to have only click and let's first work on this logic uh, on top here so down here i'm just going to have function handle image remove <coughs> so just going to create a function that handles if a a person clicks on the image then the image should go so this one is going to be taking in image index it should take in the image index to be removed so what you're just going to do is you're just going to say const updated images updated images is going to be equal to so you have to get image urls okay we have to have image urls up here so this is map ma, not map filter so just going to say filter and in the filter we have access to the image with its index okay and then what we want to return back is all images in fact is an index that is not equal to the image index okay to the image index something like this so this one what it means is that it's going to filter out is going to filter out all images uh images index and it will only leave those index uh, image with the indexes that does not match this image index okay and after doing that so we want to set image urls to the updated images so updated images as simple as that so let me just go and uh, call this handle remove so on top here i'm just going to see on the click on the click we're just going to have uh we're just going to call this function so just call this function uh handle image remove and let's pass in the index of this image which is i okay uh great so now let's go and test this uh now i can test this by removing and you can see the image goes and remove the image uh this comes the upload now so so far so good okay so far so good so let's look at these uh the images uh, so far we have these uh, the two images so what we're just going to do is that I'm just going to do something like this let me go ahead and upload some so we just need to add them on the data and make sure we are receiving them so down here on our submit data we of course need to get this data here 
Mm. We just add it here while well, we have data dot image URL. We just going to add data dot product product images. And even here, yes, we can see is equal to product product images like that. So we are sending it as product images. And then after we have them here, we can send them to our API. So when we go to this API, uh, API products, we should receive product images just like this. Okay. We should receive product images just like this. So I'm just going to go and receive this. Control C. I'm just going to go to the API endpoint and receive them. So just go to the API and we're just going to products. Where are products here? So we have products route so in the product route in the post here in the things we receive at least we're just going to add one more thing which is product images and we can remove this image url instead we have the product images now we're just going to have uh, here on this adding here we just also going to add the product images so where we have image URL, remove it and replace it with product images product images so we have to add these product images in uh, in the we have to add it in the in the prisma schema so just go to the schema right now and then under the product let me find product okay and just want to find a uh, product uh, there are so many models right now let me just simply move around here product a market and okay the product is here so we have the image url okay so we could actually leave the image url actually we can also leave the image url and just add another one which is product images so here just going to say product uh, so to make sure I, I put the exact one, I'm just going to paste the one I have here so that I maintain. Okay, so this one is going to be an array of strings. So you can just say, for instance, uh, can I do something like is going to be strings array? Uh, how do I pass in an array? Uh, just put like this I think uh, let me just go down and see yep even tags you can see it is an array of strings so even these ones they can be an array of images now for this one is going to remain a string so if we just go back here we can actually leave it we are not going to receive it in here okay but we can actually leave it in the things we add in create so down here i'm just going to see uh image url so you can just go ahead and add image url and the we just choose the first image so here we just simply uh, choose the first image which is going to be product images so just get the product images and I select the first one. Okay, I'm just going to simply select any of these ones. Okay, uh, image URL to be product images, uh, then choose the first one to be the image URL. As simple as that. So now what we need to actually do is simply 
try to run okay so i'm just going to go to <laughs> the new product image first of all i'm just going to una comment this okay so after a post do we need to clear these ones set image and set tags okay so this one is going to be set image set product images maybe set product images now back to an empty array just like that and and uh, so if you just go to the uh, multiple image let's make sure uh, let's make sure we remove these ones so the image generators you can just remove this one okay just put a comma okay so we are good we are good right now so the only thing is actually just test out so that we just know that one is a done deal so I'm just going to go here and I have to stop the two systems, both this side and this. So first control C and then also here we have control C. So I'm just go ahead I'm just going to go ahead and rerun the server and then when it is back i will just simply uh, come back and we continue just in a second okay so it has finished compiling okay so what i did here was simply running um i ran npm uh, npx prisma db push i pushed the changes we made uh, i pushed them inside uh, i pushed the changes to the, the database okay so after that i then i run uh, npm run dave and we are back running online so now let's just continue Okay, so now what I just want is to create one product and then uh, we confirm if it has all those properties. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and look at the, some of these categories that we have on the UI here. Uh, for instance, food supplements, we can add a product in the food supplements or we could just even go and have, we have also poultry and fresh fruits. So you have to add in these ones which already have some products so i'm just going to go ahead and add a test product and i may be these poultry uh, poultry updated thing so what i'm just going to do is going back here and let's just go ahead and we just say uh, product title i'm just going to go here and try to to add actually just go back let's add from here so product title we're just going to let me just fill in is a fake filler and then some of other information like product title i want to add it i'm just going to create test okay testing multiple image so i'm just going to come here and say test multiple image just like that and then for this we just go and look for where we are going to put it we just want it to they just never mind about the prices the stock and then units uh, this one i just want to put it under poultry and then select farmer uh, we can just like uh, actually put it under to uh Martha and then whole price this 
for a price thing you can just like say maybe 200 i don't know then here you just like maybe uh, wholesale price minimum wholesale quantity 100 just for testing purposes the most important thing of course are the images okay so i'm just go here and put the images okay so i'm just going to upload these three images just like that upload okay so it is uploading and you can see they all come and they show up here okay uh, they all show up here which is great uh, maybe we need to increase a little bit of the gap because there is no much uh, gap and even to say maybe margin bottom okay uh, we just go like in this mat for image and then in the design here we can either increase the gap or we can also add to this a imagine bottom maybe of six let's stay with that and now i'm just going to go ahead also try to remove one image so that we understand that the remove works okay uh, let me hope it's not going to reload okay so the margin bottom has worked i'm just going to simply remove one image now we have uh, two images now i'm just going to actually upload these ones okay let's go ahead and create a product creating product so new product created uh, let me just go off this okay so we just come here and you can see by the way so this guy this is one of his first products okay uh, the images and you can see now we have one image uh, it has been chosen so if you just go to quickly check uh, in the APA so that we look at the what is happening if we just go to this and we look at what is happening is that just going to check on uh, API products so that we just look at the products API product okay let's just check on API products and we see okay so you can see the new one uh, the newest one is this testing multiple image and it has the image URL which is actually the first image in these ones okay so that is uh, great we have not changed any of our logic on the front end we have maintained the image URL and the product images is an array containing the two images that actually we sent okay uh, this is uh, great so we have the multiple image upload functionality working very well now we can just simply move on to actually the next one which is actually building out some of these pages and if you want to check this product if it is there we can just like continue scrolling here and in fact let's just try to actually reload the page so that we see uh okay um, so here we can just go to this product updated and you can see it here okay you can see the uh, it is here everything is just the way it's supposed to be okay so now yes i'm going to work on to those uh yes we're going to create those two pages okay so i'm just going to first of all go and create on the front end so minimize this on the front end i'm just going to create two pages the first one actually to see three pages the first one is the category image uh, the category page 
so I'm just going to simply say uh, this okay I'm just going to create new folder and for the category it's going to have category and then inside the category we're just going to have another one which is the slug because we're just going to be getting category by slug okay so we just create another one another folder which is going to be a dynamic slug just like this and then inside let's put page so page uh, dot jsx okay and let's just say rfc okay rfc and then here okay we can just accept the params and then from the params we can just go ahead and remove the slug so we get out the slug and we'll be fetching now by slug so just come here and we have the slug okay so you can just say h2 here and we say category category page and you can just simply add this slug just like that okay so that is the category page and we can just test out this one by going to category and you pass in any slug okay my pc is freezing let me just wait a second okay so let me just try to route to this page okay so i'm just going to say category and then uh, you can just say here maybe phone okay and then enter so this one should take us to the uh, the category page yep so you can just see here uh, category page phone uh, that's great so now I want to create the second page which is going to be the search page okay so if you remember we have the category page and the search page which actually show the same things okay so i'm just going to go here and create the in the front end create a new folder called search okay and then in the search let's also put this page dot jsx and then we have rfc i will name this one as search okay and then i'm just going to put here two h2 as search okay now the third page of course we want and is is going to be this the market so it's going to have also the market and then the slug so new folder we just add market okay and then you put the name of the market so you can just enter this and then let's just go and put slug inside 
I think the markets also they have a slug, so I'm just gonna say slug. Okay. Then inside the slug, let's put here page the JSX. And I just going to RFC. Okay, and then I see him just going to have H2 of market. Just going to have it here, yeah, market page, something like this. Okay, so let's go back on the UI. I don't know which one we should start with. We have this category page and then this the farmers page the markets page so of course we're just going to start with this one uh, which is actually a bit more complicated okay uh, this one so you can see on top here the first thing we have we have this header which is in the white and then we have this search and if you just look at the same thing here we have this header and then we have this uh, here and then we have the sidebar and then we have the products that come back after that okay so for the products of course we're just going to simply use our products okay since they are so taking uh, the four products here we just use the same uh, thing we have on the on here on the the products page we use the same the same thing only that this one is supposed to be i think is a, a bit different because this one is uh they are sliders are they yeah these ones are sliders and the other ones are not supposed to be sliders i think we just try to see how we are going to implement that okay so i'm just going to start working on that page so let me bring this nearby here so we are building out something like this okay so i'm just going to start with this breadcrumb okay so in this you can see the whole page has the same padding i think we already have the padding that is enough on all these pages so we'll focus on now just simply building so i'm just going to go to this uh, first part which is the breadcrumb here so let me just go to the category page now if you just look at this category page they are all having the filter so just going to call this one a filter component so I'm just going to create here in the components front end i'm just going to put a new one called filter so this one is going to be the filter component just like that uh dot jsx rfc okay so here this way i'm going to be building everything okay so i'm just let me first put h2 here filter component so in this i'm just going to get this and bring it into in the category page so here in the inside the category page the only thing just going to have is this the filter component okay the same thing to the search page so here is the search so here in the search page we just need to import the filter component okay as simple as that so these two pages now they have the same content let's go to the filter component and start writing out this so the first thing is the breadcrumb 
which has like home and then like category or whatever that is going to be here so i'm just going to say home so i'm just going to have the flex so you just have flex so let's just have this first of all this upper part here the white one okay so let me start with that one so you can say the equations bg white the one with the bg white and then we can just go ahead and put the first one it's going to have the flex uh, items center and then justify space between okay and then this uh, first part it has also flex and then in this one is where we have for instance h2 says home and then we will have an icon of chevron chevron and then this is chevron right okay chevron right and then finally we have this uh, search results or the search result this one is going to be coming from the whatever uh, so this is this part here and let me hope this is a link so this is also a link and this is a link so both of these ones are links uh, just going to link this uh, just name this one as link from next link and this passage rave for now let's put uh, actually slash and then for this one it is also a link uh, this passage rave okay for now let's put the hashtag okay so now we have this one as the results i'm just going to copy the way they are and put them in a p tag so after this uh here down here let me put a p tag and paste this so so far if you go back here on this search page we have this kind of thing here uh, let's have uh, where is this let's have your text slate 900 so that we can see what we are typing here uh, let's give it a little bit of padding mm padding y i'm just going to give it eight okay so one thing i'm just going to work on also is making it the uh, this really small and i don't know where this so this padding comes from uh, this one is on the whole entire website that is the in the layout okay it's okay i'm um, just going to go and say first of all reduce the font in this one so you can just say text sm okay and then one more thing just going to do is let's make this px4 so for px let's make it four okay and uh, let me here make item center so here item center and for this icon let's give it a class name of maybe width of four and height of four
okay yeah so that one looks much better maybe we just give it five just like that okay yep that is great okay so now but we have also still reduced this is more small so we can just like try something like text at 0 0.5 so this one is 0 0.8 0 0.85 there is i think extra uh, small is it this uh, let me see 0 0.75 Let's try and see that. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that is the the best size we want on this. Um, and then we can just go ahead and then put this now the second one. Okay. So after this we'll have another one with the same class here so let me create a, another div and then inside here we're just going to have h2 which is the one that is having this such result and then we suggest also have this side sort so this side is going to be a flex so inside that we're just going to have a pita which says sort by and then i'm just going to have another flex that has the links so if you just go to these uh, the these these ones are actual links these ones okay so i'm just going to have one two three links so i'm just going to go here and i'm just going to say link <coughs> and the first one is going to be relevance uh, then we can copy to others we pass uh, passage wave so just to duplicate this one two times so the first one is price high to low so you yes, see price high to low and then another one is price low to high so just the same thing low to high okay uh, okay so far so good so just go ahead and add this one we can just add margin bottom or if you wanted we could just go here and we add space y maybe of six and this one would add some spacing between these two okay just like that okay so now uh when the 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 font has to change so this text uh, extra small let me just cut it and I add it in this one uh, for these ones they have different fonts for this one for instance let's give it text to excel and then for these other ones let's give them text sm so let's look at how this one looks like
Okay. I think that is okay. Uh, now we just need to give the borders to these ones. So let me just go and give a class name. Let me put a border. Uh, say border. Slate. Maybe 500. And let's give a padding of x maybe of 2 and py of 1 and this c okay this is how it is and we can just go ahead uh, put it on all of them okay so i'm just going to say class name i'm just going to give this and then just come here and you say class name and i'm just going to give this so if we check back right now yeah let's see okay so we have something like this let's give a little bit of item center okay for this here items center uh even here you can just like, give items center by the way uh, okay just like that uh, let me just give a small gap uh for this one just a gap of maybe three okay so that's uh, looks much better now we can just uh, first leave it at that so i'll be refining this uh, very slowly but at least now we have this top part okay we have this top part now we can just move to the second part which is having the sidebar plus uh, is having a sidebar plus this uh the products we can check out on this one okay so now we just need to create a grid so after this i'm just going to create a grid so these ones are just going to convert them into different okay we're just going to convert these ones into different banners okay for now let's just go ahead and build out so this one would be uh, this one is a what a bread cramp so in this filter we already have a bread cramp somewhere so what i'm just going to do is in the front end i'm just going to create this and i say filter i'm just going to create a folder for filters okay so the filter lists everything on the goes in this folder so i'm just going to transfer this inside here filter uh, we'll have to update the site then here i'm just going to add other things for instance i can add the breadcrumb and this one is going to be for the filter page okay uh, so i'm just going to go and cut this so let's first go here to see rfc I just come here and uh, for some reason uh, my extension is not active I'm just going to simply copy 
here so just simply copy and come and paste here so let's change this one to breadcrumb breadcrumb just like that and the only thing we just want is this uh, breadcrumb only this so we just come here and we are only remaining with this so the rest of the things let's remove them and put only this one so this breadcrumb is going to be uh, inside here let me go to the filter page and where we have this breadcrumb here simply remove it and add breadcrumb import this from this dot okay so moving on we have this search result so this one is having the sorting so i'm just going to call this one sorting okay so we just copy this one the second one uh, this one cut it and let's go to here create a new one which is sorting okay dot jsx irfc and let's return this and let's also just go in the filter and let's bring it down here okay just like that so that one at least we have this one simplified so even here we're just going to have a grid so i'm just going to say grid and in this grid i'm just going to give it grid calls 12 just going to give it 12 columns okay i'll give it 12 columns so on the 12 columns the first one i wanted to have core span i'm just going to span the first one let's span about three and then the other one let's go ahead and say core span Core span will be doing core span nine. Core span nine, just like that. So in the first one, you're just going to have the sidebar. So I'm just going to create in the filter still. Just going to create sidebar. Okay. Uh, and those ones would just call them filters, I think. Uh, we could just call this one filters because this one will be having the filters gsx okay rfc okay this one is going to be h2 filters and then inside here then we will have also filtered products so inside the filter we just going to have the filtered products filtered products dot jsx rfc okay and then i put h2 here saying filtered products Okay, so now inside this filter, no? inside the filter component, so in this core span 3, we're just going to have the filters. Okay. And then in this one, we will have the filtered products. Filtered products okay so just like this let's go and update in our pages i guess they didn't update in the category page 
Let's go see filter. I think they just it updated uh, even in this search. Yep, it updated. So if we just go back here, link is not defined. That is the sorting. Let's go to sorting. Just get this link from next link. Uh, what it is? Okay, so we have this now. You can see it looks amazing right now. So let's just go ahead and start like working on to these ones. So the first one we have the products okay the good thing is that we already have the product so i'm just going to design uh, we already have i think somewhere a single product is it let me see if you have a single product yeah so you have a single product here okay we have a single product uh with all whatever is necessary so what I'm just going to do is calling this, uh, calling upon this product, okay. And uh, for now, I'm just going to use an easy example of giving it like the products to use. So I'm just going to go to the filtered products, and on top here, I'm just going to simply call const uh, products okay is equal to await get products uh, get data of course and then it's passing the products so that we just get all the products for now is sync here and then after getting these products let's go ahead and create a grid so I'm just going to say class and I'm just going to say grid grid call so on the small one is going to be one item maybe we just make it on two but for now let's say md we're just going to say grid uh, call two and then on the large screen, which is like LG, let's say grid call three. I think we just like do we put three or let's first try like three. We see how it look like grid call four or three. Let's first try the zones and we see how it will look like. So we just simply call actually product here. So I'm just going to map through the products. So products dot map. Okay. Uh, so you have a single product with its index, and let's go ahead and return the product. Okay, we could just go and say return the product just like that. So let's just import this product here. And of course, this product, if you hover on it, it takes in a product. So just give it product, which is going to be product. And also take a key, which is index. Okay. Uh, that's great. Now we should now have uh, a lot of products here. Uh, they said. Uh, we just wait a second and see. Okay, so here we have the uh, the products on this side. Okay, uh, simply maybe we just need to make them four. 
they look a little bit much or we could just give them grade so i mean like uh, more gap let's first look at these ones uh, they have them for let me try uh, for and see how they look like my friend for is better if we try for what happens uh four they look like squeezed so just try three uh but we just uh, give a bit of gap maybe of one ring so you just see now how this one looks like yep i think this is like much really much better they look really good so just go ahead and uh, give them some padding on top a little bit of padding and we can just like put this on the entire uh, filter components if i just go back here on this grid i can just give this one some padding uh, for instance y of 8 uh, for the px do we need really px we can just like only try py okay so we have our products now this on the side we need just the filters okay so we'll be working also on the pagination so if you just look the side there will be pagination below if i scroll so much down you see that they have this pagination okay so there are several places we can get the pagination component uh, if you check for instance on shared okay they have also the pagination component if you check on also flow by they have a, a pagination component so whichever you want we can try that uh, if you just try components uh, you will see that they have a pagination component if you check here and actually it is among the new ones okay the pagination with page next and previous links so you can see this one i think it's so, just like more nice i feel like so i'm just going to go and install this one okay since we already have shared in the project uh, just uh, move up here a little bit and then i'm just going to go down and let's install this now the usage of course the pagination also if its own component and to just we we'll just call it paginate or something like that since there is already pagination like this so i'm just going to create that component meanwhile as it is in starting to install here so inside the filter i'm also going to have the paginate so paginate dot jsx just like that rfc so here just a uh, first of all put like h2 pagination so the of course the first thing to put is this import uh, you can just copy it here we first put that import on top here And then now uh, we just copy this and we just put it down here so return just return this I can just, like, just get the actual code for this one. Mm, 
uh, it has even the everything we need actually just go and copy the return this first copy this import the, the Im I don't know if the import is exactly the same I can first uh, have these ones they are the same uh, then the return so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this return part okay just like that copy this okay just scroll down here inside the return i'm just going to put this okay so right now at least we have more stuff just like this uh, i think that's it so the only thing uh, there is next js so there's something they are saying here by default pagination link component will render an ank tag to use the next js link component make the following updates to the pagination.tsx okay so we have uh, to go to the pagination and then we replace the ank tag with the next link okay so let's first uh, wait this installation to go ahead so I'm just going to take a second and then I'll be back when it has finished the installation. Okay, so here it says it is done so the installation uh, looks to be done uh, now the next step is uh, trying to do what they are saying here so just go to the pagination and you can find this inside the UI pagination uh, dot JSX, of course so if you check inside here we should have uh, where they have the ank tag and I think this is the one uh, uh, yes first see try to move around and we see okay so we have this paginate link uh, the paginate link is here and you can see here they're having something like here the display name is pagination, pagination link which they are having here this so they said that we simply replace okay uh, that we simply replace if you look at their saying is here oh this is uh, inside const pagination link the pagination item let's first go to paginate so pagination link this one uh, Uh, 
I don't know where they just like uh, having this okay because they are saying uh, e by default the pagination link component will render this so make the following updates in the pagination.tsx now in the pagination if you look at the pagination.tsx which is supposed to be this one and you look at how they are doing the pagination link Oh, I think it's inside here. They have this pagination link, accepting props, okay? Uh, so instead, we add, we remove this anc tag, and then I add the link inside. Uh, I don't know. I'm seeing they have this chevron right. really i'm not sure how this one is going to work uh, according to them here they're saying remove this anc tag then add the link there is nowhere in any place i'm seeing it done Okay, I think uh, we just simply put the paginate, we suggest uh, figure out when we reach on the pagination. Okay, so I'm just going to call this paginate in the filtered components. So down here after these items, we're just going to have this paginate component. So just add this paginate. Okay, just like this okay this is good so now if we just go back we should have the paginate down here let's see it uh, just a second and just want to see this component here down Okay, so it is here, the pagination, it has rendered nicely. Okay, and since we have this, uh, I think that is okay. Maybe just give a little bit of padding, I don't know. So you can just like uh, add the maybe px of 8. And we could just even center it, by the way. If wanted, we could just move it to the center. I don't know if that is the best. Moving it to the center. Uh, I'll first check here. Yep, so the, it is in the center. So they just go here and make a so P of 8. And then... Let's move like MX Auto. And let's see what is going to happen. Uh, okay, so the padding has worked, but then this. Okay, then we can just use Flex. And just say flex items center and let's say just try center so this one will eventually move it to somehow the center Just first give this a bd of red 
and see what is happening okay so let's give this a width of full and let's see okay so when I give it with this of full it goes back here uh, okay so this way is it located it is inside they do you put inside the grid oh okay that's a problem i guess uh, we are putting it inside the grid it's not supposed to be inside the grid because it's like being part of the products so it has to go outside the grid okay of which we simply just need to do a small thing here yes i put it even in a div just like this okay so now uh, we might have the solution to a problem now it should just go to the center now okay what are you talking about flex item center why 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 uh, let's see here are we still having this let me just change it to green for sure I Let's first see. I gave it green, it is still in red. Does it mean there is something wrong? And my internet is done, so most likely it have some problems here. Okay, so you have uh, issues the products is just because internet here has issues uh, Let me just first work on that in a second okay so now uh, let me just disconnect and connect one more time and just disconnect and connect one more time and see if this is going to work Check. 
and check here my internet I don't know why it is not connecting so connected but there is no internet so let me first work on the internet i'll be just back in a second okay so i've worked on my internet now we are good so scroll so scroll down and we look at this okay so now you can see it is uh perfectly in the center so i'm just going to remove this green okay so now we have it perfect in the center the uh, in the the pagination it is well in the center and i think that's uh, enough so now what we just need to do is work on the sidebar uh, these filters so that we can just have it done also so for the filters what we're just going to use uh we're just going to if you check on the original uh, my pc is freezing just a second Okay, so just scroll up here just like this so what I was saying um, I was saying that if you check uh, on the original uh, here we have these uh, filters if you hover on them you see that uh, all these uh, filters are actually ank tags okay and with these ones we have the ones for the brand then in top here we have price then we have categories okay so here we can have maybe uh, subcategories okay here we can have subcategories in this category so for instance electronics then electronics has some um, subcategories now uh, for us we don't have uh, subcategories if we had subcategories then we would go ahead and maybe show the subcategories but right now we actually don't have maybe what we could just like similar uh, we could just like maybe show similar categories somewhere but uh, we don't have that so we we'll just start with the price okay we'll have price then we'll have brand then item availability uh, there is shop by i think that's it and then rating and we're not doing rating right now so we have i guess the price filter uh, this one and then the brand then we can also look at others okay since we have many things but let's first start with this uh with this one so if you just look we have this kind of situation here uh, this if you notice so this one i'm just going to use the shard cn this component of uh, we have this shard, uh, shard component of the uh, how do they call this this is collapsible so we have this collapsible so we're just going to install the collapsible if you just see if you just click on the collapsible you can see what it does so i'm just going to install the collapsible and then we shall use that one so the installation process is just uh, adding the collapsible i'm just going to do this so while it is installing we'll go ahead and work on the components so in this uh, filters we have the filter side here so on the filters if you look at how they uh, 
designed you have the here the filter okay which i'm just going to call the flex okay so i'm just going to have here uh, dot flex and then inside here we'll have the filter name like price okay we should have this price and then down here we have the plus icon okay and then uh, then one more thing is that here we're just going to give it just by between and we can just have maybe items center okay so let's see this the installation uh, let's first check the installation here Okay, it is still uh, haven't installed yet. Let's be uh, continuing. So in here, I'm just going to bring in this collapsible. So import this uh, component on top here. Then we also have this so now for that uh, we could just copy like a code like this one and see i'm just going to copy this and has is open okay so you can even pass in is open which is good okay uh, let me just uh, copy this whole entire return okay so inside here let me just go and change this return now this one is let me just put inside here and let's also get the button and then these icons so just simply import all these uh, things here plus the icons so for the icons even the plus has been already imported here then uh, one more thing is this state here is open so you're just going to go and update this state uh, here okay so that's great let's check the installation the installation is taking more time okay installation is taking more time uh, let me pause for a second i'll be back when it is done Okay, so the installation for the uh, the collapsible uh, is done. So let's just go and see our UI right now. And since we have used state, let's use client here. So I'm just going to see here. Use client. 
18. Let's go ahead and reload this page. Okay. So when we click, uh, let's see if we click on this one. Uh, it is not yet. Let's try and see collapsible. So we have to have the trigger, and the trigger is this uh, button. Uh, do I uh, do we have this uh, button? Because the button might be actually said. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see remove these words um, can we see the trigger now uh, we can create our own things uh, for instance we have this text that is on top of the trigger this one uh, let's just say have the trigger here so of course the trigger is where we are going to have the flex okay and then we have the collapsible content uh, here uh, so what is this uh, this one here I'm just going to remove this so they have the trigger and then the content so in the trigger uh, we just, this way we're going to have the price there is this one we have chevron down okay let me just check here and see I'm not seeing where this comes from yep yeah so this the word toggle is not being seen or oh, it is screen readers only so let's just go ahead and put uh, into this one we're just going to have our price okay so this we can just give this one maybe a flex let's give it a class name flex items center just for between and then inside here i'm just going to have okay um i'm going to have the plus so here you can just have the h2 which says price and then here you can just insert we can just say chevron do we have chevron or just say plus just use the plus and then for this we can just leave it also let's see now how this one looks like Expected single react element. Uh, what is that? 
I think is this one so maybe we just put this in this uh, price uh, where can we put this uh, let's see we put it uh, the trigger the trigger the trigger uh, okay so I think we just actually put it inside the button okay so you see uh, in this we have the button instead of this plus icon i'm just going to have uh, this here like this and then let's have this flex here actually so cut this class and let's put on the button so we already have the button let me just give it these classes and see we already have some class did we have even giving it with it let me just give it these ones and see and we can remove here this class and let's see how this one looks like right now I'm just going to reload the page. So right now my PC is freezing. Let me just wait for a second. Okay, so let's resume uh, where we had reached here. So on this uh, button, we have this button right now working, but I think I feel like uh, it is adding some sort of what I saw is not what it is doing. First of all, it's not respecting the width. You can see it is entering into the site. I don't know if it comes with position absolute, so we might just not actually use this collapsible thing okay we might just not use this collapsible thing uh, we might just like use the the normal the normal thing because these ones are doing more worse than i expected okay so i expect if i give a class name here and give it like bg green 500 this should only cover the space we allocated not just going into the side of the products okay and we'll just go ahead and add i think a small gap okay you can see it is uh, this one respecting so if you just go to to the component here so you can see we have this and then this so we can just go ahead and give it like a small gap specifically like of one ring okay you can give a gap of like one ring let's see okay so you can see we have a gap of one rim and so we can have our filters here uh, so now uh, building these filters let's first look at them 
we have uh, many filters we have the price then here we have custom price so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to have first for the price component so it will be have the price filter so under filters i'm just going to put the first one which is going to be the price filter so create here in the filters i'm just going to have price filter price uh, filter dot gsx and just going to see rfc and inside you're just going to have uh, the price filter so inside this i'm just going to see h2 price filter and then we shall have bring it in the price filter let's bring in inside the filters so here we're just going to have the price the price filter just like that and then we have the brand filter okay we have the brand filter i think we have those two we will have those two the price filter and then the brand filter so i'm just going to create another one here uh, called brand filter brand filter dot gsx rfc okay so h2 here i'm just going to put brand filter okay so as you go ahead and also put in the filters down here i'm just going to have brand filter okay so we have these two filters the price filter and the brand filter uh, let's remove all these things we are not going to use them okay just remove all these here we can maintain use plan or we can just even remove it okay so now we can just go ahead and work on the price filter so at least in the price filter what we have is i don't know if we have the categories but it's with the price filter so we have under this 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 and that so we can have if you look like um if you look at these uh these links uh when you click for instance under this you see that they it changes the link on top here okay so they are using the params so you can see there is max so we just might just need to create an array here let me just create an array const uh, price ranges is equal to is going to be an array uh, so we have for each uh, i think we have the the display so for each of these ones we'll be having the display name what is to be displayed um, we can just say display name and then we can have the mean and max okay uh, so you can have here maybe under uh, two hundred dollars and then we can handle here mean maybe and for this first one it has only like mean okay so it can have 
mean let's see and she's just like maybe we just say max max is 200 and then for the second one we can just have like a second one So this one can be between okay between maybe 200 and 400 and then this one can have a max of 400 and a mean of 200 mean of 200 just like that so we'll have all these uh, different filters okay so for now I'm just going to put on like about four. So maybe let's say four hundred, five hundred, and maybe seven hundred. And then here the max is going to be seven hundred. Then the mean is going to be five hundred. And then let's remove this one. Okay. So that's it. Uh, we have that, and then we just simply now plan to actually map through it and then we put it onto the ui okay so now when you just look at this we have this when you have this uh set you can see we have the clear button we could just have like a clear for all the filters or we can have clear for each individual filters okay so for now i'm just going to create price h2 here there will be price and then so this one is going to be the header where you have flex and then inside this flex i will have the price and then i will have the icon here and in fact we can just call it a button okay and then down here we can just have the filters okay so Hey guys, uh, so I think uh, I've had a lot of difficulties recording this video. Um, I just I just request that we stop here and we will resume uh, uh, next time in the next episode. At least we have we have something done. We have achieved uh, designing the products uh, site, so we are meaning uh, putting these filters and then we'll continue from there next time thank you see you in the next episode